You know, it's so funny. Good morning. You know, I've been up so early and I'm just working on a few things and I completely lost track of the time. I just looked at the clock and I'm like, no, it stopped. I jumped. I'm like, hold on a minute. It's time. It's gone. So I'm so sorry, okay? But it's never too late to pray. Amen. Amen. It's never too late to pray. Man always ought to pray. We ought to pray without stopping, without even allowing the thought process to take control of our minds. I dropped an email today. Have you received the email from me? Sister Alicia, you should have gotten it. Have you received an email from me this morning? Good morning, everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. The seal, you know, it blessed me. The seal. Okay, it's not just about, you know, Jesus saying it, but the Father has placed his seal upon him. It is the seal that separates him from everybody else. It is the seal that authenticates, that gives him the boldness to do what he does. Because the Father, my God, has said, this is the one. This is the one, the seal. Bless him. That's why we don't run after any and anybody, Pastor Rene. We go after the one with the seal. Amen. He's got the seal of approval. The father has handpicked him to be the authoritative figure in Jesus' name. That's why, listen to me. That's why, see, the contention and the fight. We don't dispute that there's other prophets. We don't dispute. You see what I'm saying? But we know who he is. And we know what he does for us. And for that, we are grateful and we are thankful. That he thinks of us daily. That he blesses us daily. That he gives us our daily portion without fail. In the mighty name of Jesus. The daily portion of Jehovah. We receive it for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know as usual I think yesterday. I think one of these celebrities. A rapper right? I guess he got shot. You know I know it's, it's on social media. You know. These new rappers, I, I don't really follow them because most of the stuff that they say don't make no sense to me. But, you know, it's still a life, regardless of what your opinion about the person is. It's still a life. You know what I'm saying? And I keep saying this, a life devoid of Christ, a life where Jesus is not central. It doesn't matter your status in this life. Trust me. Pastor Rene, it doesn't matter. Even if you're saved and you don't have a strong prayer life, he's coming after you. He's coming after your house. It is like you're walking around with a target on your back. And he will come for you. He's not scared of your reputation. He will come for you. And so this morning, you know what? I'm, I'm going to need your help. I'm going to solicit your help, okay, as we pray. Remember the two young girls that were putting through catering school? You know, I, I went to make payment for their fees yesterday and I got a whole bunch of paperwork. What you call the prospectors, right? That's what you call it? Where you are, is that, is, you know, does that make sense? The prospectors and in it, it has what they need to buy and the textbooks and everything. So I'm making a list of it. I'm going to send an email out, okay? I'm going to send an email out and I want you to read it, okay? And let the Lord lead you. Let the Lord direct you on how you can be a support, okay, to these young girls. Amen? Let the Lord lead you, okay? We pray and we also act. We pray and we do the action part. Praise Him. That's one thing the Lord is teaching me, Dr. Nikisha. The Lord is teaching me. You know, most people who spend all these hours praying are not givers. I'm killing a demon right now. I've learned that. Most people that call prayer warriors, you know, because they spiritualize everything. See, there is spiritual warfare. You see what I'm saying? There is, you know, the things that we do in the spirit, the things that the mind cannot fathom, the things that don't make no sense. But there is also some other things. You know, I was talking to, I, I, you know, I went to the school, the catering school yesterday to uh, make payment for their fees. I think I have, let me show you uh, the receipt. You know how I do things? I show you evidence. So I went to make payment for their fees, right? And uh, 
So this is the receipt. This is the receipt. I still got a little bit to pay, but don't worry about that. We've got the money to pay that. Okay, so I made the, so they gave me the receipt. So the taxi driver who took me, you know, also a Christian, and, and we were talking. Amen. We become so heavily minded that we are not earthly good. That sounds good. You know, so what happened was, Sister Akila, he told me a story of he needed some money. You know, his son was going to school, Dr. Nikijian, you know, couldn't pay the school fees. And there was no way he was going to get the money. So, you know, he's a taxi driver, but what he does is the hospital where he waits for passengers to come to, one of the doctors there, you know, he would go and wash her car. You know, just random, just go and wash her car. And the doctor was even saying to him, saying to him, why do you always come and wash my car? I said, oh, you know, it's okay. Just, you know, something little that I can do. It don't mean nothing. You know, so he kept on doing it. So one day he washed the car and the doctor called him up. Listen to this now. He just, you know, just out there. And he said, the doctor called him up and said, I want to give you something. He said, don't say nothing to nobody, you know, just take it. He needed 500 CDs, our money. You know, the school, you know how school fees are when you don't pay it. So the lady, gave, the doctor gave him an envelope with the exact amount of money that he needed to pay the child school fees. And he said straight away, he called the school, send them the money, say, hey, I don't want to keep the money so that I'll be tempted. Send the money and pay the fee. Now, why am I saying this, Sister Akila? See, I want us to be very balanced. You son, one of our sisters, let me, let me share this with you. She, she don't want nobody to know who she is. You know the young boy that's going through IT school? She sends money regularly. Every let's say every couple of weeks she said you know this is for his transportation so the young boy that we're taking through it school one of our sisters on prayer man to handles his transportation and his food now listen to me everything is not rosy for her as a matter of fact i'm telling you she's fighting some warfare what she's doing is crazy we speak all the time on the phone. You know, I said, I said, sister, this is probably the most crazy. Anybody hears this thing will tell you that you've lost your mind. Because she's going through warfare in her house. But she understands that she has to stand over, step over the warfare. Stand on that warfare as a stepping stone. And let the warfare know that you don't dictate to me what I do. Brother Willie, I don't know if you're listening to me, but I, you know, you've been in my spirit today. I feel like I need to call you. I pray all is well. God bless you. Pastor Renee. You see what I'm saying? So, so it is not that everything is good for us while we're doing what we're doing. Let me just put it out there. You know, we ain't, you know, super rich. You know, listen, do you know the thought that came to my mind this morning? I know it sounds crazy, but I believe I'm going to do it. You know. You know, I've sent you some information about, you know, you know the story about Walmart and Chick-fil-A and all them people who pay their tithes, right? You know, they pay tithes on, you know. I said, God, you know, from this year, I want to stop paying my tithes. Be serious. I said, God, I want to stop paying my tithes. And then God said, what do you mean? He said, well, God, tithing is 10%. But God, I want to do 20%. I want to do 20 percent like, God, i've been doing 10 percent for too long i think i need to graduate i think i need to move up be serious that's the thought that i came to my mind actually came to my mind yesterday but today is when i really talk to god about it i said god no 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 i want to do 20. i want to pay 20. and so i'm i'm praying to god that by the end of this month i'll be able to do that because, you know, I want to get to that point where I'm giving 50, 60, 70 percent of what the Lord gives me to his kingdom. Now, I'm just throwing that out. That just sounds crazy. But, you know, I, I'm believing God. I said, God, by 2020, if 2018 I do 20 and then 2019 I do 30 percent, that means by 2020 I'm going to be giving God 40 percent of what he's blessed me with. Sometimes you want to know how people are being blessed why they are blessed and listen to me according to you and i they don't have a prayer life you see because they spend just two or three minutes praying you see what i'm saying but they are doing the giving and he's doing the rebuking see when you're doing the giving or the bringing and he's doing the rebuking you don't need to spend that much time in the closet uh oh you see what i'm saying when you're following the principles you don't need to 
because you're following what he's telling you to do most people who spend all these hours praying and everything they check their given life it's non-existent i'm telling you so listen to me you know me listen this is marilyn i'm going to throw this out then i'm going to send this email now listen to me pick up this email look at what is being done see the vision look at where this thing is going and connect yourself to authentic and genuine this ain't nobody standing there selling some of you some of you listen to me some of us we wait to somebody come and stand and sell and sell oil sell water sell uh, uh what do you call it what's the other one sell keys sell handkerchiefs sell flannels you go stand in line and you give things that will not profit nobody only person who profits is the seller only person who walks away blessed is the one prayer club. the only person pastor gay who walks away blessed is the one who sells the prayer club they ain't gonna do nothing for you in the first place And get ready because it's the summer season. They're going to be visiting you like left, right, center. Going to see a whole bunch of flyers on social media. They're coming to collect the money. Get ready. This ain't no prophecy. Get ready. They're coming to collect your money. They're coming to collect your money. Lady Anne, get ready. You see what I'm saying? Now for this foolishness. You understand? Too practical. You know, the two young ladies, you know, they, when I went to the school to make the part payment of the fees, the, the, the finance person looked at me and I said, you know, I'm just supporting these young girls. I want I wanna, you know, I want their future to be bright. He said, who are you? I said, well, I'm, I'm not anybody to them. You know, like, you know, I just... So, even though I made part payment, he gave me all the information that they need. And I told him, you know, I'll come here. I said, you know, I'm traveling, but I'll make sure that everything is done. Listen to me, prayer mantle, sister Brene. I'm listen. Let me let me tell you something. Listen to you. We've got to understand. Listen to me. The secrets. Okay, we got to get to that place with God when we know Him like we're supposed to. You see what I'm saying? Do you understand? When you're not just throwing money away because somebody comes there and they have a budget of money they want to leave America with. So when they come, they start telling you so five thousand dollar seeds and one thousand dollar seeds and God is gonna do it, which is a lie anyway. As if God is for sale, the devil is a liar. Tell them the God that you serve, you cannot put no price on him. Tell them Abba said it. Tell them Abba is from your country too. And he don't do what you're doing. Be bold, confront them. Say Abba is from your country, he don't do what you're doing. Stand bold. God ain't for sale. Can't put God a price tag on him. The devil is a liar. Tell him, Brother Albert, don't do what you do. You know, Brother Albert teaches us how to pray. You know, we have projects that we're doing. We're helping people. Do you see what I'm saying? He don't ask for nothing for himself. So I don't know why you're doing what you're doing. The devil is a liar. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Rebuke them. It's a plague whole plague and they're coming in the name of jesus but we silence them and we paralyze their movements in jesus name i know that we will never be popular the numbers will prove to you that it's not about being popular amen a whole bunch of people will leave because let me tell you something government of praise people are not looking for the truth if you go to, you know, it rained yesterday. I heard it rain. People's houses have been flooded in Ghana. If I show you pictures, you go outside right now, all on the roads, you see plastics. The, the whole city is littered with plastics. This thing happens every single year when it rains. But guess what? Nobody is doing anything about it. The name of Jesus. Got to be practical in our approach. Let me see your sister Brenda. Sister Pastor Rene, ask Pastor Rene how many people we used to get before. Pastor Rene, tell them. Now look, because you tell the truth, they don't like you, so they go. They go to them folk that were lighted, and they come running, they come crying when they've been duped, when they've been lied to, when the thing that was told them hasn't manifested. But they call me telling me somebody, Sister Pastor Rene, tell them, them to bath in, 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 in communion wine. So that's witchcraft. Going behind the preachers, you know, get invitation to go preach somewhere. Then you take, you know, you take the numbers of the members of the church and you go to the houses, pray for them and take money from them. 
Ask Pastor Rene, she's been, she's been with you from the beginning. Do you understand? When you tell the truth, trust me, you will lose the hope. Listen to me. If you listen to me, you know something. If you want to get rid of people around you, start telling the truth. If you've got too many people around you and you want them to leave, start telling the truth. Jesus started, you know, Jesus was all about the truth. When he started talking the truth, the people left him. The people left him. People don't want to hear the truth no more. They want to be lazy. And then you come and tell them, you know, God said he's going to bless you. God said he's going to be, you're going to be a millionaire. The devil is a lie. You will never be a millionaire with, with, with that lazy self that you have. You need to get up and do something. I wrote a word down when I was preparing this morning. Let me see. I'll flip back. You see, as I was preparing this morning, you may not be able to read it, but let me see that word over It says spiritual food poisoning. That's the word that the Lord gave me this morning. Spiritual food poisoning. Remember, we're dealing with food that perishes and food that endures. And the Lord said, there's a whole bunch of people that, you know, I circled it. That's all I heard. It said, spiritual food poisoning. Spiritual food poisoning. Whatever is poisoning people, giving them food poisoning. In the name of Jesus, we run it out of their system. We wash it out of their systems. In the name of Jesus, we run it out of the systems of the people of God. In Jesus' name, we flush it out. We command it out. Anything messing with the systems of people. Let it be flushed out in Jesus' name. Let it be flushed out in Jesus' name. Let it be flushed out in Jesus' mighty name. Forever he will be the lamb upon the throne. Bow down our knees and we worship him. Command everything to stand still. Command everything to fall in line, to fall in place. We speak to nations. We speak to doors. We speak to them to open up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the kingdom of God be established in our homes and in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, the truth shall set people free. In the name of Jesus, Father, in this summer season, every bondage that people are going to be placed under, under this so-called, you know, where that is trending all over the place, prophetic vision, prophetic vision, prophetic that, Father, it is binding people, but, Father, we come to loose the chains and the bounds and we separate and father god we command them loosed in jesus name let god arise let god arise the seal of jehovah let that seal be in operation are you hearing me i said let that seal be in operation are you hearing me let that seal be in operation in the name of anything sent to bind anything that doesn't have the seal of jehovah on it listen to me it is bound to perish and so if we are connected to anything that is perishable anything that shall be destroyed anything which doesn't have a communication link with jehovah we disconnect ourselves from it in jesus name let there be a disconnection let there be a disconnection. Let there be a disconnection. I release. I said, let there be a disconnection. I release. Let there be a disconnection. I release. Let there be a disconnection. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying? You know, if you're new, you know, I teach people how to pray. I want you to have your own breakthroughs. I don't want you to join no line where you pay consultation fees and counseling fees, okay? How many of you have done that before? Don't lie. Don't lie now. Because you didn't know. You, you know, you was ignorant. So you went to pay some money. And they told you to buy oil. And they told you to buy water. And they told you to buy communion wine. And they told you to buy bread. And all them kind of stuff. And you did it because you didn't know. How many of you have done it before? Come on, don't lie now. Don't lie. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Speak the truth now. In the name of Jesus. Vosheve kavasia. Me breso teleba. Sister Sharon, you never done it before? Okay, you haven't. God bless you.
in Jesus. Some people have. You, you, you won't believe it, Pastor Renee, tell them. Some people have. In Jesus' name. See? Yeah, I've done it. Yeah. So, you know, some people don't know. You understand? They don't know. Voshevi kabasia. Believe in the power that is on the inside of you Out of your belly He gives you daily bread So when you speak it becomes The power is on the inside of you In the mighty name of Jesus That son, that daughter Will not die prematurely My God You need that, that rap I'm sure the family members are now crying you know, I could tell, you know, I didn't really, you know, there was a video of him. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's like extentation or whatever his name is. There was a video of him where one time he shaved off his eyebrows. He looked really scary. You know, but you could tell that he was fighting some stuff. You could tell that he was, you know, he was fighting in his own ways. We will not be... We will not be trending, Lady Yan. That's the name. It's triple X, smiley O3. Trip is like X, 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 X. I don't know how to pronounce it. You know. He was fighting some stuff. What he needed to go through was deliverance. You see what I'm saying? Something was fighting him. That obviously wanted him to die before his time and is manifested. He was fighting something. He was in a warfare. But that demon, obviously, you know, has prevailed over him. That's why listen to me. Listen to me. You know me. I ain't done that. I'm honest, I'm a little bit nervous about call to pray. People will turn up because, you know, I ain't done, I ain't really done no advertising. You know, I ain't done nothing. I'm just putting out the fly. I'm trusting God. Whatever people shows up, you know, God be glorified. God be glorified. Uh, I'm going to put out the times. You know, we've updated the flyer with the information. The hotel has changed, okay? That's why I was kind of like totally telling you just to hold on. Okay, so, you know, my brother Vincent is behind the scenes working on a couple of things. So, I'll put the information out. Okay? And she, oh, wow, is that true? He stopped his mother's boyfriend, right? Yeah, he's been, you can tell that, you know, you know, you can tell that there's something, you know, like possession of some sort. You know, he, 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 he wasn't all there. Because whatever it was, the demon, he was fighting. You know, warfare, he was fighting. Somebody like that deliverance would take you like, it would take weeks to get him, you know. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, um, just, just pray for it. When I say pray for me, I mean it. When I, when, I say, when I say pray for me, I mean it. You understand? People think, you know, these things, you know. See, if he was if he was in Ghana, he would go through deliverance, you know. You know, the Western world, some of this stuff is almost like it's glorified. You know what I'm saying? It's glorified. But it's demonic. It's, you know, you just, just call it what it is. He was demon-possessed. You know what I'm saying? I don't know his background family-wise, but somebody doubled in something. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was doubling in something, and obviously that thing attacked the boy from a very young age, and it wasn't dealt with. You understand? It wasn't dealt with, so that's what he's been fighting. Ha! Father! Lift your hands wherever you find yourself this morning. Hey! I feel God. I feel him God. And I lift up this prayer point for you and your house. That son that you have will not be caught up in no drive-by. Will not be stabbed to death. Will not be shot. I erase the knife which has a name on it, which is your son or your daughter. That sword, that arrow, which is traveling during the night season, and it is illuminated by satanic blood because it is looking for that child of yours. It's coming. My God. I erase the name of that child from the tip of that arrow. And I demand and I command, I stand in the position of intercessory. And listen to me, I'm going to declare something, because some of your children are guilty. 
No, often times we say that they're, they're not innocent, they're guilty. Some of them, some of your children have, have you know, they've, they've, some of, I'll, I'll go as far as saying this, some of your children have been involved in the killing or the stabbing of somebody else. So it is mercy that we're asking for. It is mercy that we're asking for. It is mercy that we're asking for. In Jesus' mighty name, let God be the judge and let everybody else be silenced. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hey, I feel God is with me. I need I, I, I needed to feel that. So God be the glory. All the good things is done. Make sure that you put a capital G. To God be the glory. Amen. So listen to me, those of you, please make a date with me at a call to prayer. I want to see you. Myself, Prophet Khan and Brother Vincent, we're gonna be there. You come with demons, we're gonna cast that devil out. You come confused, you're gonna leave with your future bright. I've never, I've ne listen to me, you will never give up once you've had this encounter. Because you know what? It is not just saying something. I will make sure I check on you to make sure you're doing the right things. Amen? Those of you who know me, you know me already. Don't, listen, nobody's going to sell you no oil. Nobody's going to sell you no water. You see know what I'm saying? I want you to walk this walk yourself. And understand who God is. Amen. So please make a date with me, okay? I'm gonna prepare the information, a whole bunch of stuff that I'm preparing for you, but especially I'm soliciting your help for these two young girls. Listen to me with these two young girls. If if Brother Rene, if three or four people come together and say, Hey, we're gonna handle their the fees have been paid, so it is a matter of their transportation, their food, and whatever they need to buy for the practicals during the term time, okay? During the semester, that is all that is needed, okay? If three or four people say, hey, Brother Albert, count me in. Let me know their budget, and I will send what I can. Just drop me a message. I'll send it to you, okay? These are the things that we do what just now when, oh, your family reunion. Praise the Lord. These are the things that we do that God blesses us. People don't make no, you know, you don't understand. So those of you that want to do it, just drop me an email. Lady Anne, don't forget, drop me the email. Okay? Drop me the email. I'll send you the package of what it is. You know how I do things. One year. But you know what? They, um, they according to their prospectors, Sister Brenda, um, like, you know, they can do an, an, another year. Like, you know, that will kind of like give them the exposure to the international scene. So I've told them that if they do very well with this foundation, then we will pay for them to do that extra one. You know, that's just the motivation that I've given them. I told them if they do well, I will, you know, I will push them. You know, we'll push them on. Okay? So, you know, this is me. You know, I've got to that place, you know, um, where I go to church. They don't know me. They don't know what I do. So this is the brand that guess what? I went to the preacher and I said, hey, he said, I'm going to London, but I'm going to go to America afterwards. I'm going to, and there's a conference that I'm having. I think he didn't hear me properly. He probably thought I said I was going to a conference. I said, no, I have a conference that I, you know, host every year in America. He said, what are you? I said, yeah. I said, yes, sir. You know, I have a conference every year in America. He was like, so how come I don't know about it? I said, well, say, you know, I'm okay. He said, no, you need to be doing something in this church. I said, sir, it's okay. Pastor Rena said, it's okay. It's okay. You know, you know, it's okay. I was laughing. I'm like, yes, sir. You know, listen, you don't need to brag. You see what I'm saying? You know, you don't need to brag. You know, I said, yes, sir, you know. Let it hold me when you walk in. Humility, that's the word. This then, Pastor Rene, you know, I see me go to, I just sit down, take my nose in chair, get up, praise the Lord, give my offering, and I leave. I go to my house every Sunday. They're like, but Albert. I, I say, so guess what he said? He said he wants me to bring him my, like, my tapes and them kind of stuff because he wants to listen to it. Remember, I told you this. I said, listen, see, my, and maybe I'm selfish, but my priority is prayer mantle. I don't want to be like, you know, start doing stuff and I, oh, I'm rushing to come on Periscope and that kind of thing. That's why I kind of like, I don't want people to really know what I, you know. So we'll see what God does anyway. You know, so yeah. 
So please, okay? Hey, Brother Glenn, it would be good to see you. Okay? So let's let's work on these girls, okay? You know, I'm looking at, like, let me, let me flip. I'm working on the... There's some textbooks that they need to get. So I've just cut and pasted it from Google. So like one is called Practical Cook. They need a dictionary, trade cookery, the student cookery book, you know, all kinds of stuff that they need to buy. And I was checking on Google. Ten dollars, fifteen dollars the books. So it's not that expensive. Okay, so um I think with these girls is going to be the most intense. When I say intense in terms of like setting them up because it involves a lot. Okay. Oh, are you talking about the book Resilient Warrior? Because well, there's two of them, so I'd love to get each one their own set of books, you know. And then if I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you the prospectus, okay? Because you know, like those of you that know, yeah, it's on eBay, it's on, you know, Amazon, you know, like yeah, you get them on on there. You know, like those of you that tell them what to, you know, like their uniform, you know, like this kind of stuff. So. Those of you don't know how to get this stuff, help me out, okay? Let's set them up. Okay? Let's set them up. Hey, from Bahamas, God bless you. Monsieur, I have to confess, the book is not done, but I promise you will be done in Jesus' name. It's here. See all this work that I've been doing? See, the book is here. Look, the book is here. So please, I beg you, I'll get it done. Please, I beg you, okay? You'll be done, okay? I promise you. She caught me right there. Now that's what I don't know. You can order and say, but you know, but I'm coming to um, I'm coming to uh remember I'm coming to America. So if see, I don't want too many people to, you know, that you know, we only have two students. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's, you know, if a lot of people go and order, then we end up having all of these books. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's come up with a system. Yeah, I mean, well, I live in Ghana now. I've lived in America and I've lived in London too. You know, but I'm in Ghana now. So let's come up with a plan, okay, with regards to the book and the clothing. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. Those of you that want to support the two girls, just hit me up. Say, hey, brother, I've cut me in. So whatever information I need to send, see, I don't even know their sizes. You've seen, I've sent one of their pictures before, right? A very, you know, very small. But I'll get it for you, okay? I'll get the sizes for you. So those of you that are interested in helping the two girls, just... You know, just drop me an email so I'll, I'll let Sister Mary create a group. So whatever it is, I'll just send you guys the, the, the bill, okay? I say, hey, folk, this is the bill. Take care of it, okay? You know. See, listen, this is ministry. This is what I'm saying. It's not about, I'm, listen to me, listen. It's summer season. Listen, my brothers and sisters in America, if you know, warn your people, warn them. I said, listen to me. They're, they're coming, you know. They're coming to take money. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I'm coming. I'll be in London on Thursday, God willing. So if you're in London, guess what you do? Please drop me an email with your number, or whatever. When I get to London, I'll call you. Please, okay? I'll be in London on Thursday, God willing. Okay? So drop me, drop me a, you know, drop me a message. When I get to London, I'll call you. Please, thank you so much. I appreciate you. So listen. So I'm working on their stuff. I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm going to work on a package to send to you. So that you know, you know, you listen to me. Listen, you know this word. You don't know somebody's destiny, you know. We receive that the wicked will. Oh, I love that. I love that. They will bring it in Jesus' name. Amen. How about that? Amen. You know, listen, you don't know somebody's destiny. You don't know what somebody will become. You see what I'm saying? You don't know. Listen, all this time. Listen to me. You listen. Listen. Sometimes, you know, the money that you go and take to buy that shoes, two, three hundred dollars, sacrifice it. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to wear that shoe. You know, see, the way I think it's going to be on that dirt road, what have I achieved? Let me rather put that money to somebody's life. You see what I'm saying? You just don't know. See, these, you know, one of the girls I told you, one of them, if you see the name, is a Muslim name. You know, she, she, she converted to become a Christian. Now, you can imagine in Ghana, a young girl taking that decision the amount of warfare that she's been going through you see what i'm saying and the other girl i told you, you know her father's dead you know so there's five of them i think she's a twin or something like that you know that's rahel you know she's a twin you know and you know um, obviously there's no money you know so she was just at home 
people taking advantage of her, like not in a not, not like in sexually, but you know, like where she was working, you know, she wasn't getting like you know, she wasn't taking good, you know, so she's been at home. So I said, Hey, let me put you through this school, let me ask my ministry folk to help me so that we can put you through school so that you come out and you know your future. You see what I'm saying? That's that's how I see things, you know. I'm like, listen, that's all, you know, that's all that. You know, it's not about you having this, you know, God has blessed me, have a big house and cars. Hey, that's your fine. But, you know, I want to be able to help the little that I can do to bring Eden into somebody's life. Amen. So that's what I'm saying to you. You know me. I, I sell, I don't, but I'm, I'm challenging you. Okay. If you want to, I know, listen, we're doing great stuff. You know, the kids, all the, you know, all the projects that we're doing. But with these two girls, I'm challenging you. As soon as we finish, don't let the devil come and put something on you. Know, drop that email and say, brother, I'll be counting me in. That's what I say, count me in. And I will put I will put your emails together. Okay? Lady Anne, please, okay, let me call you when I get to London. Because I just got a few, you know, I, got, I just trying to do a few things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, brother Glenn, yeah, listen, I said, I said God, I said, God, you know, I, like, I said, God, give me some money so I can just do these things, like, better than what I'm doing. I said, God, just, just help me. That's just me. I said, God, just... You know, because listen, when you when you're in Christ, this is what it's about. That's what you know. What, because I'm in God and I see the culture and you know what what the charismatic Pentecostal move has become. It makes me cry. It's all about money. It's all about coming so a seed, coming so a seed, coming so a seed, taking money, people selling water, people selling oil. People selling even, you know, uh, cream for, you know, for your skin. Oh, gimmicks. Selling fl flannels. And that's why, listen to me. Some of you think I'm joking. I'm saying they're coming. You know, you, some of them, you, some of you, you've experienced them in America already. Merchandised. I wouldn't even say the gospel because they're not preaching the gospel. You know what I'm saying? Do you understand? Do you understand? And you see people queuing up, falling over backwards to give them their money. Money that when they come, they waste the money on girls. Get hotel rooms and be sleeping with girls left, right, center. You know me, I say it like it is. Impregnate girls. Get the girls to do abortions for them. All kinds of stuff. You see what I'm saying? I'm being serious. Yeah, cream for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sell all kinds of stuff. So be careful out there, okay? Please. Be careful. You know, I've been warning you since prayer mantle start. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. There's wickedness in high places. They take advantage of the vulnerable and the weak. Are you hearing me? They take advantage of the vulnerable and the weak. And I don't want you to be one of them. You hear me? That's why, you know, anytime something comes, I bring, I say, prayer man, to help me. You. Without your help, we can't do this thing. I say, prayer man, to help me out. Help, help out your brother. Let's put these girls, let the testimony come. You know what I'm saying? When I need to talk. Oh, okay, when, okay, all right. Do you understand? God is good. God is good, so be alert, okay? In Jesus' name. How many of you watching the soccer World Cup? I know in America, it's, but how many of you watching the football World Cup? See, that's the, go watch that. That's the real football. Not that thing that they kick in America and they call it football. It's handball. What you guys do is handball. Go watch football. Okay, that's real football. That's real football. You hear me? Some of you need to repent for calling that game football. It's handball. In Jesus, don't let me start because I know all of you. I know all of you prayed against my 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 team. That's why we lost LeBron. But it's okay. Now go watch the real thing. Go watch the real football. The devil is a liar. In Jesus' name, go watch it. Premantel, I love you from my heart too. I can't wait to see you guys. You know those that I'm gonna see. Um, I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. In Jesus' name, sir. This is my ministry. This is my ministry. That's what I do. 
we are the ministry. Prayer man, this is us. We meet every day to pray in the morning. In the evenings, I've been, I've been missing a little bit. Pray for me, okay? You know, Micaiah, Micaiah is a handful. Micaiah, man, Lord. We pray for you, okay? In Jesus' name. So, remember what you do after this, after this uh, call. Let me know. You know, I'll send you the email out for the girls, okay? So that we can help them. Love you all. See you soon. Ooh, I can't wait. See ya. God bless you, Michael. It's good to see you. Later.